This is a screencast that will introduce a presentation I would like to give on the 2012 Software Craftsmanship Conference. The presentation you'll see in the screencast is a rough cut of the presentation I would like to use on the conference itself. The core principles are present and I think you can glean the gist of the presentation from these slides. Um, I can do this interactively, so uh, if you have any questions you should mail me or contact me on GitHub or anything. You can try to reach me in another manner. So, the round sequence presentation will start now. The round sequences are an interesting subject to talk about and I will present an agenda to do that and this agenda I will present this agenda I can do it now. I will introduce myself and will give a definition of the round sequence and after that I will uh, explain how you could generate a different sequence as well. So my name is Daan van Berkel, I'm from the Netherlands and I work at a company called Luminous. I'm developing software now for a little over four years I guess. Um, and my background is mathematics. So the following definition of the line sequence is actually very mathematical. A KRE, the Brown sequence B, K of N, of order N, is a cyclic sequence of a given alphabet A with size K, for which every possible subsequence of length N in A appears as a sequence of consecutive characters exactly once. So, this is a mouthful, um, probably hard to grasp in one reading. So, I'll give an example. If we take the parameters k equals 2 and n equals 3, the following sequence, namely 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, is a b2 of n, the Brown sequence of the alphabet 0, 1. So why is this the Brown sequence? Well, this table spells it out a bit. Um, in the top row, I've repeated the, the Brown sequence and in every consecutive row three characters are taken from that sequence and you can see from the table that every combination of length 3 over the alphabet 0, 1 is present and the reading is in a cyclic manner I can adjust the parameters in this presentation um, and maybe this is even more clear that the 0011 sequence of characters is a De Bruyne sequence in which if you take two consecutive characters um, every combination of the character 0 and 1 is present you expect 4 and there are 4 rows in this table if we increase the number of characters in the alphabet you get maybe another grasp of the De Bruyne sequence and again the of why this is the branch sequence is given. You will expect uh, nine rows, which you can see these are present as well. So I hope you have a good understanding of what a branch sequence is and are anxious to know how to generate one. If you ask yourself the question how you could generate the branch sequence, there are numerous algorithms which can do this task, but one algorithm that I will present now uses graph theory. So, we are going to construct a graph by generating all combinations of length, actually n minus 1, this k here is a mistake. Mm. So, by forming all combinations of a certain length n minus 1, uh, those will be the vertices of a graph. If you have never seen a graph, I will show an example a little later. 
and we will connect those combinations with correct edges um, in particular they should form a prefix and a suffix of the words which you can co concatenate with a character and finally you find an earlier cycle so again this is very mathematical but with an example it will be clear I guess um, we're taking the alphabet AB now if you generate all combinations of length n minus 1, so 2 in this case uh, we'll have to generate the, sim the words or sequences uh, BB AB BA and A A and we will make an edge from BA to AA if the suffix of BA, in this case this is A, um, we concatenate the letter A to it, we will get the word AA. Or for example, this is not shown in this diagram, if we take the word AA and its suffix, so that will be A, if we concatenate A, we go to AA itself. Another example is if we take the word BA and concatenate B, the other letter of the alphabet, we can go to AB. So, um, by doing this construction of the edges, we only have to find an other cycle. Another cycle is a, a tour of the graph, uh, starting at a vertex which visits every edge. And because these edges are directed, you have to take that in order as well. So for example, in this case, we go from A to A, which is shown in this diagram, to AB, from AB to BA, up to BB, from BB to BB itself, from BB to the vertex AB, come down again to AA. And if I'm not mistaken, this would be an other cycle. Again, if you change the parameters, the graph will change, but the algorithm is the same. Uh, you generate all those vertices, uh, CA for example, BC, etc., etc. You pair them up in the correct way and you have to try to find an other cycle on this graph. Um, the other cycle will be easier with just uh, length 1 because then there are only edges from every vertex to itself and you have every other so you can uh, circle around uh, and going backwards again and that will be a brand sequence so this concludes the screencast of uh, the presentation said it's a rough cut and uh, is lacking both in depth and breadth of the subject matter but the core principles are present and I think uh, uh, with the additional feedback from the audience I will uh, make the point. This presentation can be found on GitHub itself um, as well as other project files particular um, there is a GA pages branch on the project code uh, which is hosted by GitHub and uh, you can find a wiki here as well for further information about the, the Brands Sweekens presentation.